in this video i will discuss about the um, ground grid design as per ieee standard algorithm how to uh, calculate uh, step by step the fresh viewer here you can see this is ieee standard see this is ieee standard and this is the this is the algorithm okay so these uh, steps are different here also so this is the design procedure so step by step step 1 2 3 4 5 so these these steps are defined here up to step 12 okay so first of all the field data collection of field data this is step one as i have already discussed uh, in detail about the uh, uh, the steps in the practical calculation in my previous videos so this is step one field data collection of field data you can see this is step one so based on the um, location plant location and the map plant layout this uh, um, uh, substation uh, this uh, these parameters uh, soil resistivity test so soil resist uh, this soil resistivity profile all these um, uh, things all these uh, things you need to collect so this is step one now conductor size conductor sizing this is step two so based on the uh, collected field data uh, you need to um, you need to calculate the conductor size this uh, conductor uh, size based on the formula if you can recall that excel sheet where i have shown how to do this yeah so these are the field data these are the field data soil resistivity I mean uh, thickness of surface layer all these things and some input data fall current short circuit duration all these things so based on this you, uh, you need to calculate this preliminary conductor size as a step two Next, step three is coming the calculation of touch and step criteria so it, using the formula provided in IEEE 80 standard you need to calculate the e touch uh, this e touch or and e step that means touch and step potential and based on that you need to design the initial design initial design uh, that means the uh, preliminary design uh, consideration for the uh, preliminary selection of the ground grid uh, rod uh, uh, main ground grid uh, material so this is step four next is next is coming the grid resistance this grid resistance rg value of rg you need to calculate value of rg then lc and lr value uh, uh, as a step 5 and then step 6 the value of grid current ig and tf so these values you need to calculate um, again i will show you this calculation you should check for ground grid resistance the value of rg how rg is calculated here based on the input parameter soil resistivity and the cross-sectional area so this rg uh, value we can uh, get this is step 5 and then uh, grid current step 6 next you uh, next we need to check the step 7 whether this ig whether this ig into rg this potential is less than the uh, touch potential if this igrg value is less than the tolerable touch potential in step 7 then uh, then if it is yes then your design is okay then you need to uh, then no need to check here you can go to the detailed design final final design in step 12 so this igrg value and e touch value you can recall the formula uh, i have already discussed this is the igrg lm so this value is less than the e touch e touch value 
then this design is okay if it is not if this step 7 is not satisfied then you need to calculate the mesh and uh, step voltage mesh and step voltage emes with the help of the uh, formula stipulated in ieee 80 so this is step 8 now step 9 em you need to check em is less than e touch em is less than e touch so here uh, this is the value of you see uh, em here ems that means the uh, mesh voltage if this em is less than e touch here in this case it is it is that then if it is es then you need to check the step 10 that means e is e is less than uh, e step this is here here es is less than e step suppose here value e the value of es is 45 and e, uh, e step 926 so this is less than it is meeting the criteria if it is that then you can go to detailed design and if it is not then you need to go back to step 11 here you need to you need to modify the design so d and lc lt so all these parameters you need to uh, recheck again redesign again and you need to calculate again the grid resistance and again grid current so this is the this is the algorithm based on uh, based on this uh, you need to uh, design the ground grid and based on this algorithm etap software will calculate will uh, uh, will calculate the uh, ground grid design i have i have uh, prepared uh, that video also if you have missed you can check out that video uh, there uh, you will see as per this ieee method i have uh, calculated this uh, ground grid design so based on this ieee 80 algorithm etap software ground grid design uh, is prepared so if we go back to the steps here so we have covered all these uh, steps see step 6 ig step 7 gpr ground potential rise uh, step 8 step 9 10 11 and 12 step 12 so these are the steps of this of this algorithm if you have any doubt any comment uh, you can drop your comment in the comment box if you need uh, any further detail uh, design or any uh, confusion uh, related to the input parameters field data or uh, or any uh, other uh, thing you can you can drop a comment also and if you want more project specific i can i can share with you some other project uh, uh, calculation also uh, but the basic thing is that it will follow the algorithm as stipulated in IEEE 80